But I believe when it comes to the big picture, we are moving in the right direction. According to the WEF World Economic Forum's latest Energy Transition Index, Malaysia is ranked at 39th with system performance and transition readiness at 69% and 60% respectively. We are on the right track. It's very fruitful and the participants and everything, I think it's across all industries as well as I like the presenter selection from the organizer. It covers across all sectors of green hydrogen from production, the use, all the related areas that are useful for everybody's understanding. The growth on the hydrogen awareness, especially it comes together with the decarbonization, climate change and everything, is something that is a must now. It is not an option anymore. And now people started to look into the economic viability of hydrogen. I came all the way from Germany to join the event here. I met a lot of interesting people, a lot of companies and associations, a lot of entertainers who are dealing with hydrogen issues and I'm very happy to have an exchange with them here. And also here in Malaysia, as I see, it's a very developed country with a huge demand on energy. Really sophisticated infrastructure in regard of industry, transportation, etc. We learn from each other a lot here. I think we got a lot of inspirations from the participants and we hope Hopefully translates that in new activities and new concepts into new success stories and that we would like to share next time. There is real commitment I see from other operators in the region to, to look at the impacts of hydrogen on their infrastructure and to sort of develop the measures they need to manage and, and cope with that hydrogen and to be able to be central to its uh, supply chain in the future. This event has been fantastic. I think uh, not many people around the world know what's happening in Malaysia. This is a good purview of uh, what the country is doing and all the players, a fantastic one. So it's very interesting to see all the technologies that are coming and all the efforts that are being taken to adopt green hydrogen and also accelerate its adoption, coming to technologies and all the other research that's happening in the space. So in that sense, it's a very, very interesting event here. Definitely a lot of stakeholders here from the government and from you know the academia and and all the private players. But yeah, maybe some more international presence. The turnout is, is nice, a lot of engaging people and many questions I had at the end of, the, of my presentation. A couple of difficult ones as well. In Peninsula or in Sarawak or Sabah, there is potential for green hydrogen. There are several applications such as mobility, ammonia, steel. There's a huge potential in Malaysia, I believe, for green hydrogen, yes. It was excellent discussing on the panel on the green hydrogen road mapping and uh, discussing with uh, various stakeholders on how the RE can be integrated with the hydrogen. So it was excellent discussion and brainstorming. The room of leaders did quite a good job. Congratulations on the organizing the Green Hydrogen Conference. Well attended and this is the first Green Hydrogen series. So I guess that's quite wonderful to have all the industry players gathered at this event, sharing their insights, especially on the panelists and, and the speakers, sharing information about the future of the green hydrogen in Malaysia. This event actually helps the industry players on the overview, planning, what are the things need to be ready, especially working on hydrogen future energy.